Hey guys, once again you all are welcome to this channel. So after a long time I have come in front of you to just show you how to draw trench plan or foundation plan. Right, you can see this is our foundation trench plan with the strap beam. So in this video I am going to show you how you can draw the trench plan for your construction build. So first of all I am going to show you how the plan is look like. So I'm going to show you the footing plan of this this floor plan. So you can see this floor plan is of north facing, right? So in this you can see the columns. So so in so bottom of the column we need to provide the footing, right? So here in this plot, you know, here it is. This side you can see the west facing. The west face is open. It's open, but this east face is closed right so somebody's house is there so if if somebody's house is lying in this in this side so there is no space for your foundation right so you know the footings i'm going to show you the footings will be like this right this is your end of this pillar or columns so we have extended this foundation up to here so in this what we need to do in the same way this is in this case what happens here here this pillar this column have the lot of spaces there this property owner have have the spaces this yellow line you can see this line they have left so i'm going to show you how much they left for windows or something you know uh, they have left of two feet right but in the same in the same way here they do not leave any spaces in this east face east face so here the footing will be like this so in the same way i'm going to show you how to read this plot or how to design these columns footings so here you can see this is this will be your eccentric footing right because because somebody's some your neighbors already is building constructed over here so here i have designed so so here this is the columns here you can see this is the f4 type of columns and here the Footing is extended up to this is the center line. This this green line is the green line is the center line of this columns and or the footings. You can see this is the width and length will be the four feet six inches from the center of this column. So here half of this and here right and left will be the half of this. In the same way, the middle the middle footing is six feet by six feet. So in the same way this eccentric footing is of 4 feet 6 inches the both way length or width same thing and this is also the four, four type of footing so here you have seen if you have constructed any kind of eccentric footing then you need to provide the strap beam so the strap beam stb means the strap beam that is mandatory you need to connect these these column this eccentric column to your main footing right so in the same way if here will also if the pro property owner will not leave any spaces like two to fit they have left if they would not leave any spaces then you need to extend this strap beam up to this space this will be the eccentric footing for that here it's not so so this is the column and there is mainly four type of footings f1 f2 f3 you can see these all eccentric footing is connected with a strap beam which size is 12 inches into 20 inches so 12 inches will be the width and 20 inches is the depth so here up to here it is connected so after this i am going to show you this is the plan this is the trench plan foundation trench plan with strap beam so according to this layout you can you can you can same thing you can design or you can do with your excavation how you will excavate this trench trenches for these footings so i'm going to show you the footing sections so this, this this one is the middle and this side footing so this one and this one right so the size this is the this is the f1 type of footing so you can see here which one is f1 right this is your f1 7 by 7 foot right so and this is the middle or side you can say the only the size will be different right but the same thing will be there so here first of all if you are going to 
excavate your plot then first of all your minimum minimum excavation depth will be 6 feet so it has some some thumb roll you know it's depend on your soil bearing capacity so for this i have excavated 6 feet depth and from this 6 feet depth we have 4 inches of soling this is not the brick soling we have to do with the stone soling with sand compaction after this soling we need to go for 3 inches pcc right so pcc grade will be 136 means 1 cement 3 sand and 6 will be the force aggregate so after this what we, what we need to do is like you need to leave some cover like 1 inches cover will be there for footings like 50 mm will be the cover for this footing so after after this the footing footing reinforcement will be there this shape you can see this black this black C like this will be the L and this will be your main bar will be like this and this will be your this will be your this will be your distribution bar will be like this and the spacing will be of here 8 inches from both the ways so your main bar also will be 6 inches 8 inches up to up to the size of this footing so this is the 7 feet so so in that 7 feet how much how much main bar will come you can calculate you know the how to calculate the proteins if the spacing between them is 8 inches so 7 feet 7 feet into 12 84 84 divided by 8 so how much you will get and plus 1 will be your spacing so that much of reinforcement will be reinforcement will be required so bbs bar bending schedule of this main bar will be so cover will be 50, 50 mm from both these so you can and l will be 3 inches 3 inches will be the L. This L, you know, L will be 3 inches from both sides, right? So, in that way, you need to leave and you need to cut this reinforcement like this way. And this will also will be the 7 feet long and it will be also our L, right? So, here, this will be our straw beam, you know, this is a straw beam. So, in the same way, after laying your reinforcement jali. After that, your strap beam will be started. After this, your column reinforcement will be started, and then strap beam will be started, and it will be joined up to here. You can see in this fringe, your your strap. This is your strap beam here. It will be connected, right? So here, what will be the spacing? Spacing of this stirrups for beam it will be stirrups of six inches, right? Here, this will be the six inches. It will be it will be go like this. Here you can see then six inches, six inches of this, and then pillar will be there. After that, this this will be the slope footing. You know, isolated slope footing. So here, extra beam sizes will be there. So lateral ties for column. This stirrups will be the lateral types, and the four inches is the center to center up to plinth beam. After this, if this is the plinth beam. So after plinth beam you need to go for l by 4 of this length of the column will be l by 4 after that go for 6 inches so l by 4 up to l by 4 you need to provide the spacing of lateral ties will be 4 inches after l by 4 6 inches and below slab l by 4 up to l by 4 below slab up to l by 4 will be your 4 inches right in between it will be mid span will be 6 inches of lateral ties so this is our this is our section of this footing if you have any doubt this is the middle and the waist this one and this one will be the it will be like this but size only different this footing will be like this only but the size will be different and come to the eccentric footing this eccentric eccentric footing size is 5 feet 6 inches from both length and width first of all 4 inch swelling will be there the swelling may be of aggregate oh sorry maybe of boulders or maybe of brick soling after this 3 inch pcc after this strap beam strap beam reinforcement with jali you know bottom you need to keep some jali and after this beam you need to place this column and after ground level you need to go for how much height you need to provide from from your ground level so in my case i will provide two, two feet three inch your your 
clear span will be clear length will be or clear height will be like 2.3 inch below this top one and this will be your clean beam clean beam size is, size is 9 inch to 12 inch so how it looks like so if you have any confusion regarding this please consult me or comment me i will definitely dare to solve your problems and if you like this video please do our channel subscribe and getting more updates regarding any confusion regarding the structural designs problems if you have any problems reading your designs reading your structural designs your plans footings and in next video i'm going to show you different okay thank you